Hey guys, it's Heather and I am here to tell you today about why I joined EXP. First, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself just to kind of give you a background um, and where I kind of come from prior to being in real estate. So first, I'm a wife and a mother to two beautiful children and we have two dogs at home. Both are mischievous. One's really old, that's Chloe, and then we have Yachty who is a terrorist. Um, but otherwise, our household is pretty busy with family activities. Um, prior to being in real estate, I was in the insurance industry for 10 years and I taught and uh, trained agents to start scratch agencies or to take over agencies from time to time, but generally scratch agencies. So I spent a lot of my time prior to real estate being a mentor and a teacher. Um, that transferred over really well um, when I decided to become a real estate agent about seven years ago. Um, I felt like I already had a vast knowledge of what it would take or what's involved with um, home ownership and protecting that asset. Um, but I, tra I took all of that knowledge and I transferred it over to the real estate industry, both from running a business to selling pro uh, property or policies uh, and so on. I found that when I was in insurance and I was teaching, that I came over to real estate and I loved, you know, helping my clients and stuff like that. But where I really thrive is teaching other agents um, how to do what I do. So I've brought over several people to EXP or just to the industry in general um, and love to mentor and bounce ideas back and forth um, to help them grow and prosper. So a few of the reasons why I came to EXP the first one was definitely uh, that it's a cloud based company and that they put technology at the forefront of what's important for us agents. And the reason for that was, is that I found myself at different brokerages um, and always like, you know, what, what can I gain from this other than caps and splits and all that jazz? What am I getting from this brokerage? Um, and where I learned that actually was from Tom Ferry. I had Tom Ferry coaching for a while and my uh, coach at the time taught me how to watch my numbers and expenses and things like that. Things that, you know, normal business owners should be doing, but when you're first getting started, sometimes that stuff goes by the wayside or nobody teaches you that. So that was one of the first times that I really noticed how much I was giving, how much I contributed to a brokerage and how much I was paying in just to be a part of something like that. So with EXP, um, they have cloud-based um, Vibrella, The World, EXP World. Um, you've probably heard about it, um, or I've sent you a, an invitation for it. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, check it out, or ask me for a guest pass, because it's pretty cool to be able to go in and get information at your fingertips, aside from just the vast network that we created with EXP. I spent the majority of my time in my car with clients or on my way to a happy hour or on my way to a networking event or um, just pretty much anywhere but in the office and I was finding myself paying desk fees or uh, brokerage rent fees or whatever um, for a building I never used or a cubicle I never used or an office space I would never get because there were so many other agents who had first dibs or had longevity or tenure or whatever with the company that they would be the first on the list to get a corner office space or a window space or whatever. So I found myself just not spending very much time at the physical brokerage. And I guess if you're selling it, selling property and you're doing it right, you shouldn't be spending that much time at the actual office. But I still wanted that ability to rub elbows and like develop a network that was useful and not just based on what I could do for them. And it seemed like everywhere I went, I was more of an asset to the brokerage than vice versa. But I always had pretty good cuts, pretty good splits. And so it made it very difficult for me to make this decision to come over to EXP when I started and first heard about EXP, it was February of 2019. And I met my sponsor, Christina Swires, and she didn't talk me into it right away. Um, but she also wasn't a hard, like, you have to do this. This is going to change your life. It wasn't, you know, frills and bells and whistles and like, it wasn't over salesy. Um, and that's honestly probably what got the wheel turning because otherwise I wouldn't have been very receptive to it had she pushed harder than she did. And I just knew 
that she was going to recruit me. But we sat there for, gosh, better part of an hour and it was never brought up um, until the very end. And she was talking about, you know, was I happy at my current brokerage? And I didn't really have any reason to complain. I was being offered the moon and the stars to stay at my brokerage. And um, even whenever I talked to them about coming to EXP, they tried to their best to match what was going on. But I think that at the time, in their eyes, or at least in my location here in St. Louis, um, it just wasn't as much of a, they weren't worried yet <laughs> at that point. So um, they did offer, you know, bells and whistles and all the jazz, but um, ultimately uh, four months later in June or at the end of May, I decided to come over to EXP. And some of that was because of the stock options. I'd never heard of any other company doing something like that um, and definitely not on the scale that EXP was um, offering. So um, definitely the cloud-based brokerage, definitely um, the stock options, which I mean, are more passive if we're being honest because it just sits there and I earn them or I purchase them at a discount or whatever and it just sits there. So it's just growing whether I'm paying attention or not, which is great. Um, the second thing would be the the cap. The cap was significantly less than what I was pay paying at my pre my previous brokerage, which was 21,000, but for two locations that I had, I was paying 21,000 per market center. So. A lot of freaking money <laughs> into a brokerage that um, you know each of their locations are independently owned and operated so you can't negotiate based on your team at two different marketplaces because everybody needed to be profitable so um, so first it, it was the cap the cap was enticing it was the same no matter how many teams I had no matter how many locations I was in no matter how many licenses I hold it was all the same and everything I did went toward that one cap. But what makes it even better is that you can earn that cap back. So instead of just paying in every year, I could earn my way to earning my, my cap back in um, stock options. So um, it took me a while, but I finally figured out that third why I came to EXP and that's rev share. Now, there's a pretty big misconception um, about what RevShare is compared to what other companies have, like most notably the profit share. Um, and what I have realized is that in order to be profitable on profit share, the market center has to be profitable. So if you are a business owner, and I imagine that you are since you're sitting here watching this video, then you understand that in order to be profitable, you got to show it on your taxes. So if it's not on the taxes, then it looks like you lost money or that you're spending enough expenses to offset what you're going to end up having to pay in taxes. So as every business owner does, you find your ways to make sure that you aren't crazy profitable, but you're also not losing money. And that's the same when it comes to being on profit share. So with RevShare, you are not waiting on one market center to be profitable and you can only be part of one prof one uh, market center at another brokerage. So at this brokerage, it was just passively bringing over people that you love and enjoy working with and help leaning on them, them leaning on you and mentorship and collaboration. And that was the light bulb moment. And that actually didn't kick in for me until about almost two years of being at EXP. I was just plugging along and, you know, doing my production as I did. I'm a workhorse. This is, I'm a workaholic. This is what I do. I'm good at that. Like, this is what I know. But I mean, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. So at some point you either run out of hours or you run out of steam. Um, and so there has to be another way to be profitable. There has to be another way to be passive and to still contribute and that was one of the biggest things for me is being able to contribute to my team my organization of agents here at exp so the three reasons why i joined dxp was one for the cloud-based tech two for the cap and the ability to earn it back and three for the passive income that you can earn with RevShare. so i hope this video was very informative for you if you want to learn more about teaming up with me click the button below to schedule a call with me and i'll talk to you soon